Hey, I'm Kieran Wynne Stanley, Product Manager of Data Logging and PicoLog 6 software here at Pico Technology. I've prepared this short video here today to show you a major new release of PicoLog we've been working on over the COVID-19 lockdown. We're just about ready to roll out the new feature on an invitation-only public beta program. In a nutshell, what we're launching is an upgrade to our existing data logging software called PicoLog 6.2 Cloud, which, as the name suggests, this new feature allows you to save captures to a cloud. But it's so much more than that. Let's take a look. I'm going to assume that you already know how to install the software, so let's delve straight in. For this demonstration, I've already set up the channels on the source client. That's what we call the PC with the loggers connected. Here we have two Pico loggers connected to a Windows 10 PC, which is on my local Wi-Fi network here. Let's begin now by pressing on record. We're presented with the choice of local capture or cloud capture. Uh, local capture is the capture mode that saves data to the PC's hard drive and retains all the previous features that you'll be familiar with from the previous versions of Picolog. Cloud capture is the completely new feature of capturing data to the cloud. And that's what we're here to show you today. Let's click that. The next dialog asks us to log into Picolog Cloud Piccolo Cloud is our secure cloud service hosted on Microsoft Azure, which is a really secure and reliable service. Now that just pops up a web browser here so that we can select uh, how we're going to log in. Piccolo Cloud supports creating an account with email and password, or you can use one of the supported single sign-on or SSO providers such as Google, Facebook, Apple, or Microsoft. We would appreciate your feedback on these SSO providers if there are others that you prefer to use. So we need to create an account. And the easiest way to do this is by using one of the SSO providers. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my Google credentials. And we just click open in Pigalog and that passes the token over. And now we need to type in a capture name. My first capture, if I can spell that right. For this demonstration, I'm going to pick stop after a fixed time, um, but it is worth noting at this point that we've limited the maximum capture length to 30 days for this particular beta test. And the maximum sampling rate of any channel is 100 milliseconds if that device supports it. Capture has started, so let's click on the graph to confirm the data is capturing. And there's the data. I'm going to move a channel to another axis, and I'll show you later why. The capture has been running for quite a few minutes now, um, so we have a decent amount of data. The cloud captures are all stored on the server and can be seen in the cloud file menu here. There it is, my first capture. This is a separate location from where your local Picolog saved files are kept, which is in this area here. So cloud and local. Should the internet connection on your machine be interrupted, Picolog saves to local disk until a connection is re-established and the data is then resynchronized to the server. With the cloud capture set up and running, we're ready to set up a, mo a remote client. That is to say, another Windows PC, Linux PC, Mac, or Raspberry Pi. The remote client can be anywhere in the world, as long as it's connected to the internet and signed into the same SSO account we created on the source client earlier. So let's sign into the account we created now. In settings and in PicoLog Cloud, login. Now, it's really important to say at this stage that you must use the same SSO provider that you logged in with on the source client. Otherwise, you'll be creating a new account and you won't be able to view your captures. There we are. We are connected. So let's go straight to the cloud menu. And as we can see, we have uh, my first capture. We just need to double click on this now. This opens up a new window. We call this a viewer. Um, and as you can see, the data is live. Here it is. 
and that progress bar at the top means it's updating. It updates around every 10 seconds or so. Now, uh, we've decided that remote clients cannot change any of the capture settings. Uh, that includes uh, any of the channel data. These are all grayed out. You can't change those. You can't change any annotations that might be in the graph. You can't add annotations. You can't add or remove alarms either, but you can see the status of alarms. Now, looking at the graph, yes, you can zoom in and pan and use any of the controls that you see down here. You can also save uh, the data as a Picolog file and you can save the data into all of the other formats that we have here from the remote viewer. So anywhere in the world you can save that data off. Picolog 6.2 Cloud is a free upgrade and will be available as a free service with limited features that satisfy most users' requirements. We're also offering a paid-for annual subscription, including many premium features for the more demanding applications in future releases. To apply to the beta program, please complete the questionnaire to tell us what device you currently have, how you plan to use this cloud service, and what features you'd like to see in our cloud service. Thank you very much for watching.